lots of virtual reality application users, developers, gamers, they struggle with one thing, cardboard enabled or cardboard compatible headset. How to find them, where to buy it from, or how to make your existing uh, headset compatible with cardboard. Hi, my name is Vishal Patel. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to make any normal or low end or low cost uh, basic to any other uh, VR headset compatible with cardboard. This is going to help uh, the developers uh, if, if you're struggling to find where to buy or where to get the cardboard enabled uh, headset from. So do share this video with your uh, colleagues if you are if, it's, if you find it uh, helpful and with other community members and with your gamer friends or your app users. So let's get started in uh, making your existing uh, headset cardboard enabled. Uh, all you need, you need to get uh, ready with few things before you uh, start doing this. Uh, of course, your headset doesn't matter to anyone, any make. Uh, I, Google says uh, you need to have one ear caliper. It shows like that, but I'm going to use a simple foot ruler because that worked for me and it's not bad. I mean, I don't expect a one ear caliper to be handy with everyone at their home or office. And you need to know the DPI or PPI, that's pixel per inch for your mobile phone, which you can find from internet anywhere. First, uh, search for uh, cardboard uh, QR code generator. You get auto suggested from uh, Google. When you search, the first URL you get will be www.gcfarwaysapp.com. So that's where you get to make. A QR code for your headset, a cardboard QR code. And here you can see there's a nice icon which shows the one ear caliper, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I don't expect that to be handy with everyone, so I use foot ruler and you can do that. If you have one ear caliper, that's a fantastic. Just keep a few things uh, initially and go to the, the form where you can okay i cleared i need to clear my earlier reset form because i did it earlier for myself so here uh, the company name we need not put it's not mandatory just put like uh, we are i just put my name we are michelle uh, so that's going to be permanent. So whenever I have that uh, name, I can search and retire my QR code from this website. Uh, primary button type, I keep it none, assuming that your uh, headset is just basic, doesn't have any such uh, uh, buttons uh, which you can see here. And now the interesting thing, uh, the moment you click the screen to less distance inside, it will pop up and show this illustrative image and that's very much self-explanatory and it has got this notes. So uh, this is the distance uh, from your phone screen to the lens and uh, to make it easy to understand, let me show you. So that's the, uh, as you can see here, so let me make it a little larger. So uh, this, this distance, right, because uh, the phone is going to be here. So here is going to be your screen. Uh, the phone screen and this is the lens so this distance which uh, as i said i can measure with uh, foot ruler what i do is i put in the center of uh, the lens and i i just uh, see that what is the distance so uh here it's showing me the it's 46 millimeter so i'll just increase to 46 the same way, uh, the next is interlaced distance. Now that's as again the illustrative image, it's very easy to understand. Uh, the distance from the center part of both the lenses. Now, uh, I, I even noticed on some of these uh, uh, headset uh, which is sold online somewhere where uh, they, they do give 
this distance already. So if you have it uh, from your headset, user manual or product description or maybe wherever you bought it from, this kind of, uh, it saves your time, you can straight away put this one. But uh, to calculate again, uh, you need to just uh, find out the ruler and just approximate, you can make out like from the center to here. For me, it comes to about, uh, <coughs> sorry, it's like 74 millimeters. So it's a big one. Also, if you if you see, uh, most of these headset they have this uh, uh, button which you can uh, you know change the distance between two lenses. So you can have you can generate this QR code for the same headset with uh, three different distances if you are using a different uh, for different users or even I mean it's up to you. So uh, uh, let's put it at 74 as I just measured for mine. Uh, now uh, screen vertical alignment is again uh, pretty easy as you can see if it is a bottom align as I say uh, for, for my mobile when I put it uh, in the headset as you see it's it's from the bottom so depending on the kind of uh, settings your headset has got uh, so I'll keep it at bottom. If it is centered, aligned, or top aligned, uh, just select that one. And then again, uh, the distance from the bottom of the screen to the center of the lens. So that's also easy to measure. I will do it uh, like this. I try to measure from my, it's a, like a visual thing. So this is where I see my screen will be. And comes to 37 so set it to 37 so th this is a basic configuration which you need to do once you're done with this uh, the next is distortion uh, coefficients so uh, as I mentioned here you will require your mobile headset again uh, when you click here it will show this uh, curvature uh, by default it will come as uh, zero and you'll see this message it cannot be set zero so what you need to do is uh, scan this QR code open it will open the screen on your mobile in a browser in a full screen mode and then you try to see this line or uh, this particular image and just make sure that all the lines that you see are parallel and straight so you can do that by adjusting the these two values and as I change you see the line over here it changes nothing to do I mean we don't have to do anything with that but when you when you wear that headset and see that it works it works perfectly as I said uh, you can see this line straight parallel to each other then the configuration is done and the advanced parameters, I haven't tried it, it's not much of a use or much of importance uh, for this purpose. So it's done and once it's done, click to generate profile. So that will take you to the next screen uh, where you'll get your uh, QR code uh, for your headset. Uh, let's see. There you are. Success. So here, this is your uh, cardboard uh, QR code. You can download a PNG, download a SVG, and I would prefer SVG, so which I can you know, just enlarge like 500 times from the browser, make a larger copy and save it for my future reference. Uh, I have a message for uh, the developers, especially that when you're making an app, uh, and when, when you offer your uh, users, your app users to go to VR mode, give an option to scan a QR code. Don't just put them directly into um, a VR mode like uh, most of the apps that I've noticed. So that will uh, help the, uh, the users uh, to perfectly use your app with the right settings, the right uh, cardboard QR code settings and enjoy the uh, app or the game whatever you need uh, perfectly 
thank you and uh, I'll try to keep sharing the more uh, that I come across and which I feel that will help uh, all of you. Uh, thanks for watching.